It's right here. What does it say on it? Now that it's starting to get colder and there's threat of snow in the forecast, it's time to break this old girl out of hibernation and uh, get her serviced and ready for this the winter season coming up. So that's what we're gonna do. Lindsay, have you ever driven a snow cat before? Nope. <laughs> Randy, are you gonna show me how to work this thing lined up? <laughs> I've never driven it. Put your foot on the brake a little bit. I'll run the gas pedal. Let's turn that key. See if it starts. Okay, just let off the brake and she'll start crawling backwards and get just a little bit of gas. Speaking of gas. Smells like gas really bad. Yeah. This smells really bad. There's a gas leak or something. Here, shut it off. Just shut it off. Fucking fuel or something? I don't know. and discovered that it's leaking fuel all over the place. Oh, that's the smell. So I had a certified mechanic put the fuel pump in this thing. So we're going to look and see what the problem could be. I'm draining the, the gearbox. Last year we changed it because it had some water in it and it had a little water left in it. Like just discolored the oil a little bit. I should have done this at like the end of last season. We got this guy. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm ashamed of that. Look at that caramel. <laughs> it's not as bad as it was. We drove it over full with water. Yeah. Turn, avert your eyes. Not as bad as it was. Oh my. These are pretty, uh, <laughs> these are pretty simple, it's... rugged machines. So, okay, Rudy, pop these, uh, pop Your TV's color right. is correct. This not the color of gear oil. <laughs> this actually doesn't even take gear oil. Yeah. No, no, it takes, uh, I think it's a mineral base. It's, uh, it's a Ford tractor hydro lube. I mean it is a gear oil but it's if you put regular gear oil in here it ruins the bands but I can't imagine water does the bands a lot of good. So you want these seats out right? Yeah. yeah all of them. A little bit. That's not for me. Well there's a there's a I think this sunroof, the water is running in and running into the vent. It's just a theory I had. Because when I bought this, we went out and drove it, and then we came in to service it. Yeah. And when we checked the fill plug on the side, water just came out. And we'd driven it all over the place. So I'm thinking that thing must have been leaking fuel the whole time I ran it last season because it always smelled like gas and it was getting worse and worse. Yeah. So there's a genuine leak there. How do you get into the back seat of this? This is heavy. Okay. Okay. So where is that gas leaking from? Where's the fuel pump. That hose is ruptured. That's not high pressure hose. Okay. Hand me all that stuff out of there. We gotta pull the back seat out. We gotta replace that hose. Are these seats like extra heavy or just? <laughs> it feels like a giant refrigerator. <laughs> okay, so now we gotta pull that panel off. This is a vent. That's. That's the gas tank. That's the cast tank vent, just venting into the cabin. cabin. We're going to re-engineer some of this. It's rupturing here too. 
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna go buy a bunch of three eighths, three eighths high pressure line. So we have a book line yet? No, this is worse than that, Ed. This is a BR100 chassis, but this cab is off of something else, oh. and it's just been homemade and clued. It's got a. It's our style. Yeah. <laughs> It's got a 4L60E and a 4.3 Vortec in it. This is not, there is no owner's manual for this. You're looking <laughs> at the owner's manual right here. Is that the power steering pump? It's, is there power steering? The brakes are what even. What is that thing? The brakes that's, are even mechanical. That pump, that, pump, that's the cooler for the transmission. The mm. key to keeping this thing running is not to beat the heck out of it. And probably do better maintenance and probably not spray gas all over the critical components. This thing's not as bad as it looks. At the same time, this is a lot worse than it looks. How did Matt die in a snow accident? Oh, he burned to death. He most certainly did. So these are the hush powers. It's like a two inch. A and N needs to be re oiled. Looks good though. Yeah. You want me to oil it? Yeah, well, let's just let's get parts for now. The engine and transmission came out of a blazer, a Chevy Blazer. Like a 94, 95 Chevy Blazer. Automatic. Yeah, I'm sure that's what the seats are out of too. <laughs> if the tracks can handle it, that thing would go hundred miles an hour. There's so much room back here, like for the battery. Yep. The battery definitely needs to come back here. Where's the fuel line? This hit right here, it is. That's it right there. So that's 3 eighths. Oh, that's 5 sixteenths and that's 3 eighths. <laughs> Getting in and out is harder than six. I didn't know that was possible. There's one core, one feature the other Corvair doesn't have. <laughs> Hang on. What's this one? That's my other fuel. Shouldn't be. They might be zip tied together. Okay. Let me let me pull this zip tie. Okay. Can you pull that one out? Yeah. Okay. We'll put a new zip tie on these instead of trying to thread that. Okay. Hook me up with some pieces, Rudy. I'll start feeding them to you. It's right here. What does it say on it? Oh, wow. Um, it says does it say what kind of hose transmission is? oil cooler hose. It does? Right up here. A certified mechanic used transmission oil cooler line. Yeah, that's. I'm not impressed. So this only pumps when it's moving. So did this get changed last year? Yeah. Oh, but you it didn't was get all the full, water out. It was completely full of liquid water, just like clear to the top. So I'm thinking <clears throat> something's dripping through that sunroof they put in there. And it's, oh man, so, somehow, somehow water's pouring into this. Or maybe it was just how they had it parked. It was setting for like three years or something. I didn't say hi to you this morning, Ed. At least well, not on camera. I didn't get you ready to report anyway. No, you didn't. It's nice and clear okay, and sunny, good. no wind. Yep. Probably get up to 78. <laughs> you got two of the clamps? Yeah. Okay, here's your screwdriver. One goes one way, one goes the other way. Do your worst. I swore he had the the fuel filter was in backwards. On the return line. So on EFI, the return line is smaller than the fuel line. Right? Apparently. Well, but I knew, and I knew that. 
I knew that, but this isn't the right fuel pump anyway. So they had a 5 16 fuel pump on a 3 8 line and they just tightened it down so that it would only leak a little bit. That vent line be sucking water in? I think, now that I'm looking at it, the water's coming in through these brake coming in through the top here. It's just dripping down here through the floor and running in. This is what's doing it. Right here, this thing. You know where all the parts go? You got it on film. I got it on film, yep. Yeah. Yeah, we might have to go watch this. Have to look at it and put in a screw and look at it. <laughs> we got all the floor put back in and got the seats put back in. Got my fire extinguisher there. That would have came in handy. No. <laughs> I'd have never found it in time. This thing can only steer when the brakes, with the brakes. We've been driving this before and you have to do like multiple point turns and I've had people comment like a tracked vehicle that they sh that should be able to just rotate on a dime and it, and it can't because it has to be moving forward or backwards to steer. If you push this one forward and pull this one backwards on a new machine, like with hydrostatic drive, then yeah, you'll just spin and rotate. So these are a little bit more awkward. It takes a little bit more planning to get them turned. For 1950s Snowcat technology, it works pretty good. Mechanical brakes. So there's, there's wet band brakes in this gearbox. These actuate those. And then there's a disc brake on the input. That's what this goes to. It's all, all mechanical. adjusting the tracks, something that we just try to get us through another year. Next year we're buying new tracks for this. Okay, Lizzie. <laughs> what? Once again. So if you're pretending to drive this, what sound do you make? Well, I don't know what sounds it makes. But no, it what sound like... do you make? Let's hear it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> for me one more time. <laughs> it's like a two-stroke. All right. Okay, come down and help me spin these tracks, Lizzie. Okay. Do you want to catch me just like old times? <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 Alright, so this isn't as easy as it looks, man. You guys make it look way Oh, there's. Got there it, it is, right there. Did you there. find it? Okay. Right there. Okay, you guys definitely. We got a couple of these bent right here, Rudy, but I don't think they're not affecting how they're uh, working. A hammer, a hammer can fix them. Well, I'm worried about breaking a, breaking a carriage bowl. Oh, that's not important. How many are missing on this side? There's one right here. So, Rudy, we're missing three total. That's not exactly. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that. I know you wouldn't have. Both of these that I made were traced off of this piece, and they're both fatter on one side than the other. Meh, I think that was a transfer error. Twice? You're consistent. Guess that's something so. to be... That's an achievement. We got the new tire guides done, and now, I mean, what happened in the history, of the world? that's definitely hit with a hammer, that's a human that did that, that's not rock damage. Super happy that we don't have to take it apart.
Okay, so, on our way up to the snow, we stopped at the gas station um, to get some sunglasses. And as you can see, I found some. They're nice and stretchy. They're like goggles. My dad's got a pair of these too that you'll see later. Let me know if you think they're awesome too. Shenanigan ruined a tire. So it looks like today just got a lot more exciting. What happened? Nothing, oh nothing. Did you pop the tire? Don't come over here. Is that what I can hear? Let's get up to a better place. Oh crap. Come on, jump in. Know. We gotta get to a better place. Quick. Where's Pepe? Is Pepe coming? Go check on him. I'm gonna go look for a better place. Okay. So we're headed up here to see if we can find a good place, like a wide spot, pull out or something. Get a spare tire on this truck. It's been a long time since I've had to use my own spare on my own vehicle. It's been a long time. Well, I'm not counting my Jeep. I gotta put my snow boots on today. Yeah. Thought I was just gonna be in the snow cat enjoying a ride. So that's where you made it, eh? Yeah, the tire's completely flat. Did it look scary? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Darn it. So we got the yearly maintenance done on the snow cat, and we're just gonna come up and do a little test. We've got the family here, Jamie and I don't know. Colin probably, Carter maybe, Pepe. So in case you haven't heard before, this thing is very noisy. We're gonna have to do some sound deadening to make this very pleasant to drive. coming in the snowcat or bombi I'm gonna go down there and hook up to one of the people that's stuck down there because I'm the only one who has a rope right now what's going on not much um, did you talk to play or uh... yeah we did so we were up here anyway um, we've got a track snowcat and we're bringing it down really? it's probably three or four minutes out so sweet yeah well, now this is going to end up on YouTube, huh, man? Sure is. Have you heard of Matt's Off-Road Recovery before? Nope. Okay, well, you can check us out. If people get stuck What's down here. What's it called? Matt's Off-Road Recovery. Matt's Off-Road Recovery, huh? Yep. Oh. Sweet. And so you can uh, see other people get stuck down here, too. So this happens. We're not the only ones. So we're yeah. not the only idiots. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and how many people are from California? Most quite a bit. Them. Quite a bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What's up with the other vehicle? It's right. It's my husband's car. Okay. Yeah. It's stuck too. Are you guys together then? Like, yeah, we're together. Yeah. Okay. Well, we we weren't that together. stupid to do it by ourselves. <laughs> well.
this is going to be a long video, I think, because we got the snowcat all ready for the season. We went out and tested it. We got a flat tire on the truck. We rescued a couple of people that were in trouble up there. Couldn't get anybody to go up there. We rescued ourselves. We rescued ourselves a couple times. <laughs> So anyway, it was a good day. It was a fun adventure. And I really appreciate you guys watching this. And thank you for giving us the support that you do. Really? Every that in. Okay, everybody dance. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> <laughs> he al always hides. They don't even know he's our child because he's never in the videos. There he is. Get him on the video. That's Rhett, right there. It's like Sasquatch. Like a